My name is Laura Sheriffs. Um, I graduated from the fashion design course at Grays in 2013. Fernway is a, a slow accessories brand, um, kind of focusing on bags, leather goods, with an influence by the Scottish landscape for the kind of colour palette and kind of rugged designs, um, and kind of focusing on how to focus on kind of like heritage, kind of like sustainable materials. So I make kind of all kind of bags and accessories from kind of rucksacks to pouches, small leather goods like keychains and stuff, chalk bags as well for rock climbing, just kind of some any sort of bag for the outdoors, we've kind of got a version. Fernvay actually started in 2014, so the year after I graduated, I kind of took a year out of uni, um, after uni to kind of just kind of work and kind of reevaluate kind of life after after graduation. Um, so when I went, when I studied, started at Grays, I always wanted to do painting. I kind of didn't really think much about fashion design because it's not really something you did at school. Um, but once I got there and I tried um, fashion design in the kind of like little bit where you kind of try everything and fell, absolutely fell in love with it. I found the course, it just really clicked. Um, and I always kind of thought I wanted to do painting and I kind of realized it didn't really, it just didn't quite click the way that um, fashion design did. Um, yeah, just kind of taking that flat object and then making it into a three-dimensional kind of piece, it just really kind of spoke to me and I kind of really wanted to do that and I was kind of like determined to like get into the second year. <laughs> Standout moments for me, um, we got to do some live projects with Johnson's of Elgin, which was really incredible. And we got to use some of their off-cut wool and kind of create garments from from that, which was really interesting. It was really kind of interesting from a kind of like sustainability aspect as well, seeing kind of seeing how like offcuts were kind of reused because it really wasn't much of a conversation at that point. And um, probably also just our fashion show, like that was just really, really amazing kind of getting that live experience of kind of making your collection. You've spent all year kind of toiling on this collection and like the blood, sweat and tears that go into it and you see it on the runway with models. It was just absolutely phenomenal. So kind of after I graduated, I had no idea what I wanted to do really. Um, I kind of wanted to get into the kind of, like kind of design industry, but I wasn't really sure where I kind of sat within that. Um, also, there wasn't really that many opportunities in Aberdeen, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay here or leave. So I kind of, just kind of worked full time in the city kind of for a wee bit just to kind of regroup and the kind of fourth year is really intense as well. So kind of just wanted to kind of assess my options and then kind of accidentally kind of started my own business at the same like whilst I was working and then kind of went from there. Everything kind of went from there. So I'm the kind of lead designer maker. I wear most of the hats in the business and um, kind of everything is designed and manufactured in house, designed by myself. Um, I do have two um, assistants that come in part time to help, but kind of everything here is kind of made here. Like we all pack it up, we do all the accounting, we do all the marketing, kind of literally every single thing is done by us. <laughs> so I have um, two assistants who actually study degrees as well, which is quite amazing. They graduated um, just in this last cohort, which was quite exciting. Um, so they come in and help and kind of assist with kind of pattern cutting and kind of manufacture on the sewing machines. Um, it's been quite nice because like when I went to Grays, there wasn't really that many opportunities for kind of creatives in the city. But I feel that kind of culture is really shifting um, and it was really, really nice to be able to kind of offer when I kind of felt like I was at a point where I needed a bit more assistance within the business because it was just kind of growing a bit more than just one person. Um, it was really nice to be able to offer like that out to kind of students to be able to come in and help and kind of get some experience while also kind of like, just like learning a bit about how to like kind of run a creative business as well and kind of give that you don't have to go down to like London or wherever to like start your own business and be successful. You can kind of do that kind of anywhere, especially like in this day and age as well. So having kind of RG students come into the business and kind of kind of work for me um, has been really valuable just because it kind of like obviously gives them experience and kind of their adds to their CV and I kind of hope they enjoy the kind of creative environment that we've got here and um, but also kind of feels quite full circle for me for me as well and um, obviously having studied at the same course as them but like 10 years ago they're kind of at the same point where I was and it's quite nice seeing them take their kind of first steps out into the industry and kind of seeing where they're going to go which is just kind of really lovely to see.